Hey everyone, Rich Man here, and oh my gosh, this is the last day of 2021, 31st of December 2021. This is awesome. I'm really, really happy that I actually got to see this day because of coronavirus, Omicron, stuff like that. But oh, speaking positively, this day is really great. So, yeah, there's a bunch of things we're going to be doing. In this video, we're going to be doing two things, which is um, actually, one thing we're gonna be making a bad banana, a spoiled banana, a disgusting looking banana. Anyway, we're doing the normal way, is the very painting way, just paint black, brown all over the banana. And we're gonna be doing the second way, which has some glitches because to possession all the unwrapped pieces, we're gonna be up getting a, a, a normal banana from the internet and put it into. Blender and you know how I'll show you the rest. So yeah, if you like this video so far, <laughs> give it a thumbs up, the notification bell, and hit the subscribe button. Yeah, and we'll get started right after the intro. Okay, so that was the intro, and this is the video. Um, so what we're gonna be doing. Honestly, I told you the first step is well, the first one we're going to be treating is the normal banana vertex color one. So we're going to be changing to a vertex color, vertex paint we have here. And normally, how we painted banana is we painted the yellow in the middle and stuff like that. That's basically what we're going to be doing. Yeah, follow my steps and we'll see where we get with that. So go to 30 vertex colors and press dirt only. We'll change the angles of all these things, but uh, I don't really need what they matter. I'm not to try that, but you could increase the blur strength too. Okay, max value is one. <laughs> I'll reduce the blur strength anyway. So that's what we have, and we just have to color it. So pick a, a lighter shade of yellow, shade of yellow, <laughs> decrease the strength, and paint over the banana. Okay, the strength is still high. Just release, reduce the strength just to uh, cover up some of that um, bad looking stuff. I told you this first step is gonna be, well, the best. <laughs> it's gonna be the worst, actually. This first step is the worst step. The second step I'm gonna be teaching you is actually to materialize the banana, which is gonna. So the second step is actually gonna be about materializing banana and. Actually, give me a particular material of the banana in the outside world. And so, this is the first step. So, we just have to do as the steps say. <laughs> so, after painting all the yellow on top of the banana, maybe some parts of the banana look bad. Honestly, I don't really think this is actually good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, just had to come. So, that's bad banana. Step one. So, second step, of course, is going to be a second step, which is going to be better, at least for an extent. Okay, yeah, so second step is gonna be we're gonna be getting an image from online, like we're gonna be getting an image from the web, put it in Blender and putting it as a material in this particular object. I hope you got everything I just said because it's kind of technical, but for beginners, but uh, yeah, you just gotta learn it. <laughs> so, first, what you see here is vertex color, so make sure to remove that and put image texture. So, let's get let's go get an image. I actually tested it with another image, but I'm just going to be using a random image from the web. So, I hope that works. Oh, you see some illicit content here. So, basically, you see a bunch of bananas, mostly this guy that's doing this thing here and fucking whatever. <laughs> so, I searched by banana image on duckduckgo.com. I didn't know why that is actually the whatever. <laughs> that's what I did. So, just search, look for a banana that you like. Okay, yeah, this one. This one uh, looks very rotten. You see, best rotten banana stock photos, pictures, and royalty free images. iStock. iStockphoto.com. Thanks to you guys for giving us a very, very rotten banana. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and save the image. Is it, is it bad to do that? Uh, no, it's actually bad. <laughs> it's just. And download it so you just have to save it so yeah okay so this website is very great caught out the pro this website helps you to remove the background of plenty images which is 
very very 100% automatic and free all my background were an editor this is really awesome honestly so we're going to be removing quickly seizing the background of that image that we just downloaded so i hope it loads up really quick because i don't have a lot of time here so to so just press upload image and it loads up then it brings up this this tab here this drop down so you have to pick the image you want to remove the background of so these are the images i've done before and this is the images i'm gonna be <laughs> this the images this is the image i'm gonna be using for this video because in this video anyway so this is the image and you see how just perfectly cut out the background it's like it's, it's like magic honestly i've used it for a bunch of things and it works perfectly well see just only the banana i don't even know how to know if that's exactly what i want <laughs> that's exactly what i want so yeah download the image and you just download the alpha mask stuff like that so just the banana that's like and download the mpng here in blender what we're just basically gonna do is so we're gonna go back to object mode and tear open our basic our normal tabs here just the layout and put a uv editor uv editor it's very helpful so now the image texture we're gonna be adding here press open not new and go to wherever you save that beautiful cut out image that you have and yeah i have a lot of images there so put this image and right off the bat it looks like complete nonsense it looks it looks rubbish <laughs> so let me use that word for today and because we have these subsurfers, we're not going to be using subsurfers, so just drop that down, down to zero, zero, totally zero, zero point zero 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 zilch. Yes, so that's it. And so, I'm not going to be opening the image here, download the download PNG. So you see the image here, this is the UV editor, it shows up whatever is UV unwrapped. Yeah, it's in the name. So go to this object and you're of course going to tap into edit mode. But before we do that, you first get the view that is lined up with the camera because this banana is facing this way. So our banana is going to face this way. So that's it. So you go to edit mode and you press U. Go to project from view. Oh, well, a bunch, a bunch of things rhyme today. <laughs> you see our, our banana this, this just appeared here she just is regular like regular um normal plain stuff that you normally do but you just skill up the banana to match something like the image that you see so what we're just gonna be adjusting it not that much just to first double click that end edge and because we can't get the whole thing, yeah, because we can't get the whole thing, like we can't see it in 3D form, just have to see it in 2D form. I'll be using this surfer, <laughs> what's it called again? I'll be using proportional editing. Proportional editing. So, bring only a proportional editing, just the G and move it to everyone in move. So, that is the end inside of the banana. I think I'm gonna be decreasing. Oh, increasing it should be good. Okay, that should be good. And make a look loop through this in the middle. Just double click until it gets its sense back. Gets its senses back. Okay, yeah, it's 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 gone. So but, uh, you move this down your proportional editing make sure everything lines up make sure everything is inside the banana I'm not playing that so make sure everything is inside the banana scale up to look just match what proportional editing is to be yeah scale up that part to match the banana size A 
little bit and scale up this part too. Just want to get that loop. Scale it up. Basically, what we're doing is trying our best to match the. the so, uh, yeah, I'll pause the video here and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done because this is really just a repetitive, repetitive process of just trying to match. It's basically just a repetitive process. It's basically just a repetitive process of trying to match the banana with the image. So, yeah, I'll pause and show you guys when I'm done. Yeah, a long time from here. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I'm done and when it looks pretty cool to you, you just stop. Just stop there. Because we um we projected it from this part and we have only this part of the image. So we can actually line up some stuff to match. So that's the problem with this part, this um type of projection stuff. So like the you see some places are stretching, but you can actually unwrap the top side. Top side, I'm just lining up at this top. But that's a really, really stressful thing to do, honestly. And there might be some glitches. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and take it from a good angle, honestly, so it can look not that weird looking. <laughs> so I'll go to my shading editor, shader editor, and I want to duplicate this. I'll duplicate this and connect that to my to my roughness. I hope you can see this. Let's zoom in. Connect it to the roughness, and you see it should reduce in roughness because that's just an image. Yeah, so you see it starts sparkling, and bad bananas usually look soggy and dirty and stuff like that. So this should be really good. Actually, it's actually better than all the other ones I've done. For the yeah, preparation for this video, but let's see. This should be a little bit good. I downloaded a bunch of HDRIs for this job. So basically, I'll change this to environment texture. Everything become pink. Yeah, exactly. And I'll pick the particular HDR that I want to use for this job. I don't really know the difference of the HDR, so I'll just pick one HDR. I think you're in folders, right? 492 skies. This should be good. Hopefully. So just pick one of them and because the transparent is there you won't see actually see the HDR but you see the effect on the object and the banana is looking really bad <laughs> yeah it's looking bad to me if it's not looking bad to you I don't know where you're coming from but this is actually looking like a really bad banana and Tom posted that if I can make the textures procedural I think this little it's actually the best actually that you can actually make the textures to look so if you notice the Banana is really looking no one is the texture stuff because if you actually want to add displacement, that's a way you can do that. But I'm not gonna be doing that in this video. So that's it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, and subscribe. And I want to wish you all a happy I want to wish you all a happy new year. Happy New Year guys! <laughs> oh my gosh, like how many hours left? <laughs> oh well, so bye. Bye. I said bye. But am I getting pissed in the next video? Uh, I don't really know, but bye. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be about a bunch of bananas. Just make a bunch of bananas. I'm gonna be using a whole banana or making a bunch of bananas. I'm not actually tested that ever. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna be looking. But well, probably gonna look fine when the video comes out. Whatever. I can tell. So, bye guys. Happy New Year and see you next year.